Hi, hello, I'm Sugar, and this is my guide to Sun Earth on Normal and Heroic Difficulty in Vault of the Incarnates. This is a priority cleave fight with two phases and two types of adds. The boss creeps upwards, forcing the raid to follow her up to a new area using icy stairs. There are four platforms in total. On the final one, she comes down and phase two begins. Hero can be used then. Start off with everyone loosely grouped on the right side of the first platform. Staying together in the same area will help bait Breath of Ice that leaves patches of icy ground at player's feet. This makes the floor slippery and the room harder to navigate. Move as a group to help maximize space. On pull, there will be a Frost Breath Arachnid and a few smaller Caustic Spiderlings. The Frost Breath ad needs to be tanked. This is a priority target until defeated because of its chilling aura. This increases its damage by 25% and deals raid-wide AoE that stacks the longer it lives. In addition to this, it will cast Freezing Breath at its tank. This emits a frontal cone, dealing frost damage and leaving icy ground where it lands. Point this off the edge, away from other players. Meanwhile, Senarth will be casting Web Blast at the active tank, causing them to suffer 100% of normal attack damage and 50% increased damage from Web Blast lasting 20 seconds and stacking. Swap at 2-4 to four stacks to keep the damage manageable. Caustic Spiderlings are the second type of add in this fight. DPS need to cleave them down, so the raid doesn't become overwhelmed by them. These can be tanked, but it's tricky to get them all. During testing, trees, pets, and other taunts were helpful to catch any the tank missed. Upon defeat, they explode with Caustic Eruption, a 5-yard green circle that deals nature damage and removes the next ability, Sticky Webbing, from the ground. Sticky Webbing will target several players, causing them to drop webs in their wake for 6 seconds. Players should put these along the edge of the platform or in an area that will help the raid during the Gossamer Burst pull-in. When this is cast, Senarth will drag the raid to her. Players should use the webs left behind on the ground to help slow themselves and prevent being pulled off the edge. In Heroic, if a player reaches 10 stacks of sticky webbing, they will be wrapped in webs, stunning them for 30 seconds. On Normal, this slows the player instead. This can be removed with the caustic eruption from the little adds. Simply nuke a little add on top of the wrapped player to break them out. During testing in both difficulties, it could also be removed before 10 stacks by using shapeshift or other abilities that remove slows. When chilling blast is applied to the raid, everyone should spread out and avoid overlapping each other. On expiration, frost expulsion will do a burst of damage to all players within 4 yards. Group back up after this is over. Once the raid makes it to the final platform, phase 2 will begin with Senarth coming down from her web and casting Apex of Ice. This creates a storm to reduce her damage taken by 99%, creates icy ground, and does raid-wide AoE, growing in intensity every 3 seconds. This needs to be interrupted as soon as it's cast. Once interrupted, use Hero. Caustic Spiderlings are still active in this phase. Enveloping webbing is now suffocating webs, causing players to still drop sticky webbing, but at the end, they are instantly wrapped in webs and knocked back. Use the little adds caustic eruption to break out these players. A loose spread can be used for this phase because Chilling Blast now has an additional mechanic. It will leave behind a glacial plume that does damage and knocks back anyone who comes into contact with it. This can be used to deal with her next ability, Repelling Burst. This is a strong push that tries to knock players off the platform. To counter this, be pushed into a glacial plume or use any sticky webbing on the ground. The soft enrage of this fight is Pervasive Cold, causing the raid to suffer 10% increased frost damage that stacks until defeated. Healers will need to rotate CDs in this phase. All the lower levels will now be covered in permafrost, making them deadly to anyone on them. And that's all you need to know about Senarth. Here's some TLDRs, links to these and all my socials will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye!